Super Bowl MVP, Doug Williams, first black quarterback to start a Super Bowl, the first black quarterback to win a Super Bowl. I hope he puts to bed once and for all about the black athlete in professional football. In 1988, Doug Williams made history. 35 years later, he's a witness to history. For the first time, two black quarterbacks, Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes are set to face off in the championship game. Just how are you feeling? Wow, I'm glad you caught me today, not last night when I was watching the game. For me, knowing from where I come from, from, from Louisiana back in the days when civil rights was what they, what they were and what we've been fighting for all our lives. Born in 1955, Williams grew up at the height of the civil rights struggle in Zachary, Louisiana a town about 20 minutes north of Baton Rouge and 30 minutes from the Mississippi border. A time when his parents told him to stay in the house when Ole Miss came to play LSU because of what might happen to young black people caught on the street. A lesson he learned acutely on one particular game day. I was walking back with a bag in my hand and all of a sudden cars was coming from down the road and the next day, you know, you know, the milkshake hit me right in the face and the car just kept going. You know, it's one of those things that it's luckily that it was a milkshake and not a bottle. And, um, you know, it's just things like that that you remember. While roughly two-thirds of NFL locker rooms are black, only seven black quarterbacks have ever started in the Super Bowl with three winning the ultimate prize. For most of the NFL's history, team owners shun black quarterbacks believing the myth they did not have the skill set to play QB. And now we got two black quarterbacks in the Super Bowl. Why are we talking about it? Because it never happened. Now, if we, hadn't, if we hadn't been worried about race back in the day, we wouldn't be here. You wouldn't have to be talking to me. But, but we're here now because it does matter to let people know that if, if you're black and you play quarterback, you can play if you're given the opportunity. This is a positive, to me, this is positive for, for all of us, not just for black quarterback, but for the National Football League. As for what Williams would like to see next, he'd like to see more black coaches get opportunities in the NFL. Williams, who's currently a senior advisor on the Washington Commanders, says he's been in touch with Eric Bieniemy and says the Kansas City offensive coordinator deserves to be a head coach in this league. It might just take, he says, a change in the minds and in the hearts of those making the hiring decisions. I'm Michelle Steele, ESPN.